spend a little while at Quazura. At the palace exhibition, where Kate's Phoenix shoes were on display, CEO made fun of her. Don't miss what's termed the evening standard, Grand Couture at Kensington Palace is undoubtedly the most prestigious fashion exhibition London has ever seen. With over 200 items, from ball gowns to court suits, purses to jewellery, this brand new fashion exhibition for 2023 occupies Kensington Palace's state apartments and Piggott galleries. The show makes striking comparisons between the present red carpet world and the 18th century Georgian war court for the modern attire. The Met Gala red carpet was the curator's main emphasis, and they included costumes by Anna Wintour and Katy Perry, particularly at the crowned couture show. This footwear drew attention from tourists, especially a stunning pair of gold metallic aquazoras worn by the Princess of Wales Catherine at the James Bond film No Time to Die. A red carpet premiere with celebrities from close by stages and screens. The shoes that were concealed turned out to be a pair of phoenix pumps. The approximately 4-inch pointed toe heels have side cutouts for a glimpse of skin, and the mosaic nail and glittering gold design are featured on the heels. FN recently spoke with Edgardo Osorio, the creator and founder of Aquazora, about his spring 22 sneaker during the Land Fashion Week. Such as the phoenix pumps the theme of his shoes is life celebration. It's about having fun again, he remarked, and designing shoes that inspire celebration. The best part is that everyone is aware that Megan is watching this and that she is upset that Catherine is given credit for the shoes. It's amazing from a historical perspective as women we've continued to make political statements statements of world thought to clap back via fashion from the earliest of times it was done in all the courts from Egyptians Romans. Kate wore the brand numerous times before Meghan was ever in the picture. But to see that exact brand in an exhibit held in the city where Wales lived in an exhibit about the red carpet and celebrities and out of all of Kate's red carpet pieces is amazing. In other news, it has been said that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle do not get along with the royal family, and things have grown more difficult as the years have gone by. John Moore, a royal authority, described Harry and Meghan's partnership with the company in an article for the Daily Mail as a burnt-out bomb site. She continued, saying that despite the fact that Harry is supposed to attend a charity event in London, there is no chance of a reconciliation. The outstretched hand has been withdrawn, clemency is on ice, relations are at an all-time low, and the peace pipe has been drenched in a thousand Duchessy crocodile tears. It has long been observed that while the Sussexes accept important concepts like family and reconciliation and speak seriously about the mending of humanity and hope, they somehow never apply these teachings to their own lives and their relationships with their families.